I, uh, I did just win an award. I uh, keep it on my desk in my office job to remind me, you're a winner. You're a winner. <laughs> nothing, nothing has changed. I'm fucking, I'm poor. Uh, is anybody else poor? <laughs> yeah, I've never said that and someone up the back is polishing their monocle going, no. <laughs> Just hanging out with you peasants for the night, you know? I like to be around people who think their vote still counts. Cute. Oh, how quaint. But I am. I'm, I'm poor. But getting into comedy for the money is like getting into heroin for the cheekbones. Uh, it's a shitty plan. It's a shitty, shitty, shitty plan. My, my superannuation plan is both parents dead. That's all I've got. That's all I've got. And they refuse to die. Have you noticed they just refuse? Like I see my dad, he's a healthy guy. He gets up and he goes swimming and jogging. I'm like, well, not today, 49 inch plasma screen. Not today. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But I, I am poor. The, the only good thing about being poor is that poverty forces you to be creative. That's the best thing. Like, is anyone a student here tonight? Yeah, so you would know. You would know, it definitely does. Whereas everyone else here would look at like an onion and a tomato and a bowl of rice and think, ugh, that is a shitty, bland meal. You look at that and think, how can I turn this into a winter coat? <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die this winter. It's, it's very cold. But it does, it forces you to be creative. Like I used to go out with my friends and we go see bands, and we go to films and you know, spend a bit of cash, but now I'm trying to save money. So I just stay home and play board games and don't they live up to the title? Uh, <laughs> board games. So I'm trying to make them last a little bit longer. So uh, we change the rules, we, we tweak, we tweak the formula. For instance, you know, we don't play guess who, we play extreme guess who, guess who, guess who. <laughs> Which is just guess who. Uh, it's, just, it's just guess who, but you get one question, and you've got to fucking nail it when you have one question. You've got to be crazy specific with your level of detail. Just, tell me, does your person have a melancholic glint in their eye that suggests they gather up stray neighborhood dogs, put lipstick around their mouths, and then strangle them to death using my overbearing dead mother's cardigan? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Is it Alex? Of course it's Alex. <laughs> Even the mascara he wears can't hide those dead, dead eyes. <laughs> the best bit about that joke is that if you do own Guess Who, you'll now go home and try and find Alex and be like, that hipster nailed it. Fucking puppy rapist, Alex. He's a puppy rapist. Uh, so do you guys have to go to work today? Yeah. Well, take that arousing reply as uh, fuck you for reminding me, dickhead. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. I, I just started a job where the application process was basically me saying I hadn't gone to prison 50 different times. Just, have you ever gone to prison? No. Have you been convicted of murder? I want to say C question one, but no, rape, no, assault, no, misdemeanor, no. And then at the bottom of the page it says, please do not lie as we conduct criminal background checks on all prospective employees. Then what the fuck have I been doing for 15 minutes? Just, oh no, it's fine if he's a rapist, but if he's also a fibber, oh no, 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 no. We, we don't want a rapey fibber here at the Optus Telemarketing Call Center. Mm -mm. No, no. Actually, that's exactly who we want at the Optus Telemarketing Call Center. Someone who will lie to your face and won't take no for an answer. <laughs> gold star, gold star. Employee of the month. Fuck your claps, I came here for laughs. Let's do that. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm hungover. I'm <laughs> so hungover today. Uh, I, I invented this awesome new drinking game. Uh, do you guys do drinking games at all? Yeah? No. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty simple. What you do is you think of your life choices. <laughs> and no one wins at that game. No one wins. But I, I am actually legitimately horribly hungover because I had a friend from Sydney come down last night and I haven't seen him for years, so we decided to commemorate that occasion by not being able to remember any of it. Like, I, I have no idea what I did last night. I remember doing this and that's, oh, that's drinking, by the way. Uh, what the world's worst erotic mime on stage. Yes, this, this is how penises look and work, everybody. Nom, 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 nom. Just, we just tipped a horse on its back and went to town last night. Blah, 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 blah. Stop doing the arm movement. That would help. That would help. Uh, 
No, I'm, a, I'm a blackout drunk. Does anybody else get blackouts when they drink? What? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank God. Sometimes it's dead silence then. I'm like, okay, my girlfriend's right. Because uh, she is. She says, you know, I think you might find you're an alcoholic. I'm like, yeah, I think you might find I have a high tolerance for fun. Uh, I think maybe that's what it is. But I, I, I'm a blackout drunk. Like when I drink too much, entire hours just evaporate from the night before. I have no memory. And I like to think, you know, you know when people tell you that your life flashes before your eyes just before you die? I want it to be all the blackouts that suddenly come back <laughs> right at the last moment. Just like the world's worst deleted DVD scenes. <laughs> just so you're okay with death, you know? Like a few minutes of you going, oh, I did fuck her. That makes so much sense. So much sense. I, I'm shitting on my kitchen floor. Uh, <laughs> I owe the dog an apology. Uh, that's, you know what? I should die. Uh, I'm on board. I'm on board. Let's do it now. It's, uh, it, it's, it's nice to have a comedy night where we had uh, a girl up here, uh, Tegan Higginbotham, before. Awesome. It's, uh, it's great to have female comedians. We need, we need way more. It's a, it's a bit of a sausage fest in uh, comedy. It's a bit of a meat wave uh, right now. <laughs> But you watch, every, every year they kind of do the, the comedy festival thing, journalists write this one topic about the comedy festival, and it's always the same thing, you know? Uh, female comedians as funny as their male counterparts? Blah, 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 fuck off. Uh, comedy is subjective, man. Just because you didn't laugh at something doesn't mean it's not funny, it just means you didn't find it funny. Or at least that's how I'll rationalise tonight's gig when I'm <laughs> home alone. But every time they do it, the first comment out of the gate is always some guy going, nah, I don't relate to female comedians, they're always talking about their periods. <sighs> Fine, let's do this. I've got a bunch of female friends who are comedians and not once, never have I seen them do a bit about their own period because of the stigma associated with it, which is a shame. Because when you think about it, if I bled out of my penis once a month, that would be all I ever talked about up here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> how, how do women not talk about it more? It's fascinating. Like I sh actually, you know, I live tweet a nosebleed when that happens. Like, how do you not? I think what it comes down to is that guys are just such pussies about the whole thing. They just get so like, come on, you're a dude, toughen up. You love horror films, you love vaginas, you would think. <laughs> Perfect marriage, right? That's... And I shouldn't use the terminology pussy either, because that's, I don't like that, to like denote fear or weakness in terms of pussy. That makes no sense. Vaginas, weak? No. Vaginas wash themselves in human blood and they spit out whole people. <laughs> That is hardcore in anybody's language, oh my god. And conversely, what does the macho penis do? Occasionally manages to stand up, and when it does, it gets dizzy, vomits, and passes out. What a fucking pussy. Uh, that's all for you tonight, guys. Thank you so much. Shit, man.